So it, I had I had recordings of conversations and all types of, 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 of things missing. My business being stolen here. Everything in that phone is attached to this house and attached to me. So anybody, which I said he he got officers and this and that. Anybody who's who that pertains to, what my my shit getting missing? I want to move on with my fucking life. I want to feel safe while I'm moving on with my life. Okay, I don't feel safe even when I'm doing this. It's, it's just crazy. I just feel violated every damn way. You get disrespected. I have found out a whole bunch of stuff, and I even gotta save everyone else. I'm not crazy. And I'm tired of everybody making me feel like I'm crazy. Just because I'm telling people that I'm being abused. And then, you know, and then, and then just, just the way that people treat me. I'm tired of it. That'll push you to suicide. They ain't gonna win. My mother tried to kill me in that goddamn house. I'm tired. Have you ever, did you feel like that today? That it pushed you to that? Push me to what? Um, you said that. Definitely don't go crazy. Instagram in there, everything that's every if I go to send for a request to go get into any one of them, I can't get into any one of them because I need that one specific ass phone. And then you shut this phone off too. What? I'm supposed to be cool and calm off of everything. I'm really fucking tight. I'm tight. There's no real help. Everybody play you crazy when maybe it's just an episode. Maybe you forgot. I ain't forget shit with my phone. They didn't give me this bullshit ass phone. Take me in. I don't see nobody rushing for nothing. Because I heard the plot yesterday.
charges for the sake of all of them from the story. Over all of them. Over all of them. At this point, we're just talking, chit chatting about my fucking phone coming up missing. People trying to ruin my fucking life. Wrote it down on a police book in the whole fucking nine yard. Will. Mr. LaRue, Mr. Boss, tired of people and their broken promises. Kevin's got an aunt whose uncle is trying to be a police officer. Again, let me tell you something. We ain't going to keep on with this bullshit. We ain't. It's either you fuck with me or you don't. But I'm going to make note that that shit was said to me. All right? And knowing that my phone is gone. How about it? Everything, every. I want my phone. I want my phone. That's what I get for being quiet. And I thought I was being quiet because I thought I was in it, like there was some type of investigation going on, as was told to me to relax no matter what I see, no matter what I do, what I hear, or whatever. Just be cool, be calm. Be cool and be calm, and you set me up. So now I feel like I can't go to y'all. I can't talk to y'all for nothing. Because the same people that work in the same goddamn branch lie to me. And I trusted them because I loved them. That is how I feel. I don't like it. That would make anybody want to end themselves. And I'm standing strong and I'm just tired of it. I'm glad weed is legal. Here. Yes. At this point, I don't even want to talk to nobody. And the officers can't help me. They can't help me. How they gonna help me? How they gonna help me? Mommy. Ain't nobody trying to help me. Y'all family members, there's fucking officers in them. Motherfuckers don't help you either. <laughs> Yo, something happened to me. Know that it wasn't me. That. And if I ever end up winded, make sure you resuscitate. Because on document it says do not resuscitate. I, Rosiah the Harris, for water, want you to resuscitate me. That. <laughs>